Hello friends, we all have had intuitions at some time and then they regret it not having listened to them, like taking an umbrella with us on a day that seemed sunny, and then it rained, or sensing a danger on the road that then was real. Many of the themes I write about come from me, to me in dreams. I've spent a lifetime learning to listen to my own intuition and it is not easy to get it right. Opinion article. Intuitive investors. Intuition can't be wrong. Listening your intuition is the key to success. Recognize when your intuition speaks. Success comes from hunches. Those who don't, who don't listen to their heart fail. How to use psychic intuition for investing. Seismic movements are expected in the markets. Esoteric doctrines place a high value on intuition. Spend time listening to your intuition every day. Depend your intuition through meditation. All the eyes of the galaxy are on the awakened ones. SpaceX prototype rocket explodes on landing. Groundhog Phil predicts six more weeks of winter. Global demand for gold and silver coin rises. Jeff Bezos resigns as Amazon CEO. Scientists teach Spinak to communicate by email. Transhumanism plan to implant nanobots in the brain. World's largest bee appear on Indonesian island. Let's start. All my life I have known that the people who succeed in life are neither the most educated nor the most intelligent, but those who know how to use their intuition to make the right decisions at the right time and to invest their money in something produ productive. Most spiritual teaching give great importance to intuition, understanding it at the complementary or the alternative faculty to reason. I had such a grandfather who became a millionaire, and he was also a good person and raised an excellent family from which I inherited his no nobility of character. Succeeding is not bad if it is done honestly. What is bad is to play dirty tricks or traps, um, much worse to survive at the cost of destroying other people. It is also necessary to listen one's heart, one's heart in order to help others um, as much as possible. Every crisis can be an opportunity for those who know how to act quickly and accurately if they follow their intuition about the best time to act and what to do at every moment, whether it is buying, selling or saving. Nobody can tell you if your intuition is good or bad. That is for you to know or not to know, in which case it would be a blink of an eye. All the successes we have had in life ha come from a hunch, and all the failures come from not knowing how to listen to our heart. The fundamental problem is the lack of self-confidence and not knowing what your mission in life is leaves you wandering aimlessly and trying to see if you can ever get it right. This personal insecurity produces, produces frustration and a tendency to blame others for your own mistakes. Someone who believes in himself can go very far, and the one who doesn't believe in anything is already defeated before starting the battle. The Arcturus Council 9D says that all eyes in the galaxy are on the, one on the awakened ones. In quotes, we are all waiting for those of you who are awakened to be bold enough to create something new something that will not only inspire your fellows but also inspire confidence in your in you throughout the galaxy you are the alchemists you are the ones who have what it takes to create a passion of planets where everyone 
can have enough, everyone can feel loved and supported, and everyone thrives. That's the ultimate goal. And those of you who follow through with the inspiration you have are the ones who will bring about those changes, which will help humankind heal, evolve, and ultimately ascend. Tips The portal Esoteric and Paranormal World has revealed to me the key to this article. With the health crisis, investments have been on a roller coaster ride for the past few months. Wild stock markets have gone from record highs to record lows in just a few weeks. Few have been able to navigate correctly in the midst of a, this perfect storm, but those who have profited the most are those who deserve it the least, namely the rich who have become richer and the poor who have become poorer. This website gives seven tips to develop intuition and use it to invest in practical life. First, Recognize when your intuition speaks. Second, second, deepen your intuition through meditation. Excuse me, excuse me. Third, spend time listening to your intuition every day. Fourth, ask questions. Five, write down your answers. Six, act immediately. Seventh, Trust yourself. Mistakes. It is important to know and understand the emotional and psychological influences that impact investors' financial decisions in order to help them identify their typical mistakes when managing their money. The study, Behavioral Finance, the Psychology of Investing, conducted by Credit Suisse and the University of Zurich, highlights three main findings. First, investors tend to make choices based on their experiences and preferences. Second, most investors choose most of their stocks in their home country and do not diversify. Third, any investment strategy can, cannot be optimal if it is not integrated with the client's client risk capacity, risk, tolerance, and awareness. Definition Intuition is the faculty of understanding things immediately, without the need of reasoning, as well as the intimate and sudden perception of an idea or a truth that appears as evident to the one who has, who has it. It's the capacity to acquire knowledge without resorting to conscious reasoning. Intuition is knowledge that doesn't follow a rational path for its construction and formulation, and therefore cannot be explained or verbalized. The individual can relate this knowledge or information to previous experiences, but, but it is usually, usually unable to explain why he or she arrives at a certain conclusion or decision. Intuitions are more often presented as sudden emotional reactions to certain events, perceptions, or sensations rather than uh, as elaborated abstract thoughts. Psychology According to Carl Gustav Jung, intuition is a psychological function that um, transmits perceptions unconsciously. Everything can be the object of this form of perception, both external and internal objects. In intuition, any content presents itself as a finished hold, without you are being able to first to indicate or find out how it has come to be constituted. Its contents have, like those of sensation, the character of the given as opposed to the contents of feeling a thought and thought which have the character of something derived or produced. Magically, effective symbols are needed, containing those primitive analogisms which speak to the unconscious. Only through the symbol can the unconscious be reached and expressed. 
This function of the symbol is in the development of the intuition is defined by Howard Gardner as intrapersonal intelligence or the ability to translate feelings into symbolic codes. Jung, in his book Psychological Types, proposed the existence of four main functions in the consciousness among which is the function of intuition. The remaining three functions are sensation, thought and feeling. These four functions are modified by two main attitudes, introversion and extraversion. A hidden intuitive mind that is quick, automatic, effortless, associative and implicit, but cannot be accessed, accessed by introspection. On the other hand, and there is the conscious or explicit mind that is discursive, sequential, rational and requires effort to function. Creativity Linked to intuition is creativity, which is the capacity to generate new ideas or concepts, new associations between known ideas and concepts, which usually produce original solutions. Creativity is synonymous with original thinking, constructive imagination, divergent di thinking, or creative thinking. Creativity is an ability typical of human cognition, present also to some extent in some higher primates, and absent in algorithmic computing, for example. Creativity, as with other brain capacities, such as intelligence and memory, encompasses several interwined mental processes that have not been completely deciphered by physiology. For example, memory is a complex process that encompasses sh short-term memory, long-term memory, and sensory memory. Original thought is a mental process born on the of the imagination. It is not known how mental strategies differ between conventional and creative thinking, but the quality of creati creativity can be assessed by the end result. The difference between the highly creative, creative and the really, really, relatively non-creative doesn't lie in the intelligence as measured by intelligent test. The creative individual may, however, differ from, other, from others in terms of personality traits. There are, of course, many exception, exceptions, but in general, it has been found that creative individuals tend to be introverted, need long periods of solitude, and seem to have little time to what, to what he calls the trivialities of everyday life and social relationships. Creative individuals tend to be highly intuitive and are more interested in the abstract meaning of the external world that in its sensory perception, creative individuals often show difficulty in relating to other people and tend to avoid social contracts. It seems a, definitions, a definition of myself. Uh, unconfirmed rumors. It's Judy Bington's opinion that Monday, February 1st, the currency reset was completed that the old central bank system ceased to exist and the quantum mainframe is in control of the world financial system. But this is very hard to believe until more evidence comes out. Bington adds that G. Bay would have been denied access to the, highest wa wa to the White House and Pentagon, as it was completely closed and shut down mm, at night. There was a massive structure going up on the site on the Capitol buildings across from the Grand Memorial. This was believed to be for an inauguration as 19th President of the Republic to be held on March 4th. But this is only uh, a speculation. The Constitution of 1776 defined that the presidential inauguration of the United States would take place on March 4th. The 10 foot high barbed wire fenced about the Capitol and White House was designed to keep people in 
not to get them out. In 2016, uh, the President's State of the Union addresses, address, there is a speculation that Miss mm, mm, Pelosi would have tried to assassinate him. She would have a device in her right hand that would have caused her, him to have a head attack, heart attack a few hours later. It didn't happen because the president would have known about the plot and refused to shake his hand, as his security team would have overheard senators talking about the plot before the speech. But it is only a speculation. Rafa, Rafa Pal writes that on February 1st, the electoral interference law that would freeze the funds of countries and companies involved in the cheating, of, in cheating the elections came into force and seismic movements are expected in the markets of government this month. Another speculation. Short news. The Groundhog Field predicts is more weeks of winter. The Groundhog Phil has come out of his bur burrow in Banks Susa Banks Sutton Way in Pennsylvania, United States, on, on Tuesday and has predicted that the winter weather will last at least six more weeks, according to the tradition that has its origin in the celebration of Catholic origin and is celebrated in Europe and Spain, the Virgin of Candelaria, which was also a day to, to know or note when the spring weather will arrive. Trump rejects his impeachment because he is no longer in office. The former president rejected on Tuesday as unconstitutional the impeachment trial to which he will be subjected in the Senate, arguing that he is already out of office. Trump announces the lawyers who will lead his defense in his impeachment. The former president announced Sunday that lawyers David Schoen and Bruce Castor will be who will lead his defense in, in the impeachment trial on which he would be subjected in mid-February in Congress. In quotes, both agree that this impeachment trial is unconstitutional, as 45 senators pronounced last week, said in a statement from the office of the 45th president. Trump, nominated for the first, third time for Nobel Peace Prize for his pacifist diplomacy, the former president was nominated Monday for the Nobel Prize Peace Prize. This is his third nomination in five years. The argument of this proposal made by Jack Madison, Estonian member of the European Parliament, focuses on the fact that Trump has been the first American president in more than 30 years who didn't start a single war during his administration. Congressman asked Defense Secretary not to close Guantanamo. Nine Republican congressmen who were formerly in the military asked Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, Austin to reconsider his plans to close the Guantanamo prison. According to one of them, former Green Barrett Michael Walt, representative for Florida, on Monday. Demand for cold and silver coin, coins rises. The U.S. Mint said Tuesday, it was unable to meet growing demand for its gold and silver bullion coins in 2020 through January, due in part to demand driven by health crisis and plant capacity problems. Gold bullion sales rose 258% in 2020, while demand for silver coins jumped 28%. A social media driven buying spree lift silver futures to an eighth year high on Monday. Silver sold. Silver surpasses $30 an ounce for the first time since 2013, 
as an army of retail traders stormed into the metal after making billions of dollars in, in stock gains last week, raising risk of a multi-asset meltdown in global markets. Although work people are very excited right now about acquiring physical silver as means to fifth currency devaluation, fight currency, I mean devaluation and inflation, most people still don't realize silver's full potential as a source of medicine that can be used in almost any survival situation. Hikers use silver salts to disinfect wild water. Treasuries rise. U.S. Treasury yields rose Tuesday and the yield curve stepped as investors preferred riskier assets such as stock, which opened higher. Chinese hackers spied on U.S. Alleged Chinese hackers exploited a flaw in software created by Solar, Solar Winds Corp. to help brick brick into government computers, marking a new twist in cybersecurity breach that lawmakers have labeled a national security emergency. Jeff Bezos steps down as Amazon CEO. Amazon has announced that the company's founder and current CEO Jeff Bezos will step down and transition to the role of executive chairman into the third quarter of 2021. Andy Yassi, head of Amazon Web Services, will become the new CEO, according to the company. U.S. thanks Spain for hosting U.S. troops. The U.S. government has thanked the Spanish government on Tuesday for hosting U.S. military troops in Spanish territory. Proposed law approved by the PP in the Galician Parliament in Spain. Mandatory inoculation, mandatory anal PCR, mandatory treatments, mandatory isolation centers, closure of, of companies and seizure of assets. All this would be as absolutely unconstitutional and I hope it fails. The health business in Spain. Public money for private health care and millionaire hand-picked contracts. 10 of the 17 Spanish regions refer patients to private health care with codes of ranging from more than 6,000 euros for a stay of more than 72 hours in ECU to more than 300 euros per day paid for that service in Galicia. Coffee may be good for men. Research conducted by scientists at the Autonomous University of Madrid revealed that men who drink coffee may also unknowingly be reducing their risk of hearing loss in old age. Health passport. The Danish government has announced that it is working on the development of a digital passport to be issued to people who have been inoculated, which will be ready within three or four months. Population exodus in London. In the last year, the United the United Kingdom has suffered its biggest population decline since the Second World War, World War, a decline driven by a mass exodus of migrants that has its epicenter in London. About 1,300,000 foreigners has left the country between the third quarter of 2019 and the same period of 2020. A flight that is expressed in sports in the English capital. Uh, 700,000 foreign-born people has left the city. It is an exodus without precedent. France po postponed for June the evictions of tenants in, ar in arrears due to the crisis. The evictions of tenants in arrears which in France are prohibited until March 31st, 
and the so-called winter truce will not be possible this year until young first to take into account the particular circumstances of greater social precariousness due to the crisis. Putting called social networks as business for profit at any price. The pr President Putin said that social networks are a business for, for profit at any price. At the same time, he recalled the importance of respecting the principle of freedom of expression and choice when controlling content of the Internet. Russian Space Agency criticizes proposal to militarize the moon. The head of the Russia's Space Agency, Dmitry Rogozin, has criticized Washington's proposals for space operations by the Department of Defense, calling the militarization of the moon and lunar research unacceptable. Also, the Antarctic Treaty prohibits, prohibits militarization, and it is now fully militarized. Meteorite lands in Australia's school playground. Social media was abuzz with fantastic speculation about the strange falling meteorite that had landed in a school playground in far north Queensland, as NASA was called to in to investigate. Vodafone readies Telecom Towers business for much IPO. Vodafone plans to launch Vantage Towers in European cell phone and antenna business on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange in March in a share offering worth about 3 billion euros. Scientists teach Spinak to communicate by email, and it's not a joke. It may sound like something out of a futuristic science fiction movie, but scientists have managed to design Spinak plants capable of sending emails. Thanks to nanotechnology, engineers of MIT USA has transformed Spinak into sensors capable of detecting explosive materials. And these plants are able to transmit this information wirelessly to scientists. When Spinax roots detect the presence of the nitro, nitro aromatics in groundwater, a compound often found in explosives such as landmines, carbon nanotubes in the plants, leaves emit a signal. This signal is ready by an infrared camera which sends an alert to scientists. Transhumanism plans to implant nanobots in the brain. A team has proposed using nanobots to create the Internet of Thoughts, where instant knowledge can be downloaded just by thinking about it. This international team of scientists, led by members of the U.S. Beckley, U C. Beckley and the U.S. Molecular Manufacturing Institute predicts that exponential process in nanotechnology, nanomedicine, artificial intelligence and computing will lead this century to the development of a human brain cloud interface. A SpaceX prototype rocket explodes on landing. SpaceX Starship SN9 prototype rocket exploded Tuesday landing while performing a, a final flight test of a, after a high-altitude experimental launch from Boca Chica, Texas on Tuesday. The spacecraft reached an altitude of approximately 10 kilometers before returning to Earth. However, shortly before reaching the, land the landing path, it performed a complex somersault maneuver but failed to ride the stall properly and crashed into the facility. The stainless steel prototype rocket was about 45 meters tall and powered by three engines. World's largest bee appears. The giant bee, known by the scientific name of Megachile Pluto, was last seen in 1981. As a result, scientists thought it had become extinct. However, it was photographed by a photographer in an Indonesian island. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, friends.